6.41, there are calls for a new ring fence tax to pay for the NHS. That's the recommendation of a panel of experts commissioned by the Liberal Democrats to look at the future of health and social care in England. With pressures on the health service increasing, they say the levy is the only way to guarantee the long-term future of the NHS. Well, Professor Claire Gerrard is the former chair of the Royal College of GPs and was on that panel. I'm delighted to say she joins us now from our London newsroom. Thank you so much for coming on this morning and giving us a bit more detail on this. So why, um, first up, explain why this ring fence tax, this new proposal, why is it needed? Well, we looked at all the evidence around how the NHS is funded and clearly it's funded through general taxation. But the problem we've got in the NHS is that we tend to go from feast to famine. Uh, it tends to follow a political cycle. Just before elections, we get offered lots of freebies. And then at a time like, uh, such as now, as you know, there's, there's serious strain on the NHS. So we looked at all the evidence and it appeared that the best solution was to put together a hypothecated tax, a ring fence tax, a little bit like the TV licence. That's how the BBC is funded. And this hypothecated tax would be filled by general taxation, ideally through an increase in taxation for the immediate crisis, but also through a reform of national insurance, because I didn't know when I started on this committee that when I reached the age of 60, I would pay reduced contributions, even though I'm working, and over 65, I would pay nothing, even though I would be working. So to bring back fairness between the generations that money could be raised by a reform of the national insurance. So this would create okay. the hypothecation. Uh, we can see uh, some pictures here, some demonstrations taking place in London over the weekend when thousands of people uh, were protesting about increased funding for the NHS. Do you think there'd be public support for the change that you're talking about? I think they would, because I think what you'd know, and it would be on your payslip how much was going to this NHS and social care tax, I think it's much more transparent. I think if there isn't enough money in this bucket, in this fund, then the public would know this. This would be a little bit, again, coming back to the BBC, if there's not enough money to pay for new productions. Uh, you know, we can then have that debate. At the moment, it all seems so murky. We, we're always told the NHS has more money than it ever required or has ever uh, been, uh, been, been given, and then we're told that the NHS hasn't got enough money. And even me as a GP, this sometimes doesn't make any sense. And I think to see it, to understand it, to even to start to debate, should we be investing, for example, in very expensive cancer treatments if there isn't enough money? It's something that we as the public can begin to, to look at and to understand in a much better way. I know uh, m money is sort of the main focus of this discussion, but, you know, you're a GP. Do you think mm -hmm. that... As members of the public, we need to maybe change our perceptions of the NHS, maybe our expectations, and, and use it a little more sparingly. Yes and no. I, I've reached this age never to blame patients because when you're unwell, you're frightened, uh, even if your unwellness is, is what we as a GP might think of is very trivial. I think people do take the NHS for granted. I, I think in particular those of my age who have never known anything other than this, and, and we, I, I think we do overuse it to some respect. But actually, the NHS doesn't have enough money. I know the government has put more money in uh, this year, but with health inflation rising at about 4% per year, mainly because of clever scientists creating new treatments, we're living longer and healthier, our expectations are increasing. So I think it is important that we understand the NHS is not a, a wasteful service. It's a service that's creating a very healthy population and continues to do so. But if we want that, then we have to fund it. If we don't want it, then that's a decision that we should be making as a population. And this new form of taxation, this ring fence, would make that a lot easier. Professor, thank you very much for your time this morning. Good to talk to you. I'm sure that's something which is uh, going to be uh, greatly discussed by our viewers this morning.